Welcome to the Allura from Bailey. That's a three model series, all the same length, 6.99 meters long. So they're not exactly compact. There is the I with an island bed, the T with two rear permanent beds, and this, the S, which has a rear transverse double bed. Let's go and have a look inside. All three Alloras are based on Ford's Transit chassis cab with this coach-built body. The coach-built bodywork is Alutech, GRP on the outside and GRP on the inside as well with good insulation. You've got features like flush fitting windows, there's a solar panel on the roof, alloy wheels are standard, they're black, so they rather stand out from the crowd. Fittings for a bike rack on the back as well. It's all very comprehensive in that 6.99 meter long body length. I've had a week away with this Bailey um, Allura and I've really enjoyed driving it. It's the 130 brake horsepower engine, so it's not as powerful, obviously, as the, the 160 that's offered elsewhere. It's manual transmission. Automatic is an option and it's one you might want to consider. It's some £2,000 more, however. But what you do get is um, a very comfortable cab nice padded steering wheel with lots of controls on it as cruise control fittings. There's this large touch screen that gives you sat nav as well as DAB radio, Bluetooth connectivity. There's also a reversing camera. That narrow body width is the, is the big consideration here. My week away, I was down in Devon doing the, uh, the twisty windy roads and that's where this vehicle really did come into its own. It's a good spacious lounge this. Bailey calls it its flexi lounge and that's because on site you have the two settees. For travel you fold up two extra travel seats. But here we are in daytime mode. The freestanding table has been retrieved from the, the garage and as you can see it's quite a good size. It uh, can move around easily as well. There's lots of daylight gets in and it's quite a light interior which is slightly strange because the two side windows are really rather small. You've got a hecky midi over the lounge itself and then an opening sunroof in the over cab area where there's also open shelving. There's one other slight bugbear about the lounge area, and that's the, the seat heights don't quite match. These Ford seats swivel easily enough. There's a height adjuster for each seat, and it doesn't quite come up to the height of the settee. And you also do have a step down from the cab into the lounge area. Heating is via a combi from Truma, but it's the diesel version that also runs from electricity. We had a week away in this and that was perfectly cozy for this size of vehicle. Here in the UK, we don't always favor this kind of bed arrangement, this uh, transverse double across the back. I think that's possibly because of access issues. Bailey has a, a rather neat solution here. There's a double step and there's plenty of room for getting up into bed. The other disadvantage of this bed, of course, is uh, when one of you is sleeping on the far side and wants to get up, uh, up in the night, it can involve a bit of a clamber. It's nice and spacious. You sleep with your head at this end where the reading lights are. There's a window the other side. Now there is again a slight issue with the arrangement as it is because you are right next to this fridge and it does make a little bit of a hum during the night due to its compressor operation. So that's something to think about. Other than that I'd say it's a very comfortable bed and you also have this rather neat arrangement where you open this up and you've got loads of storage underneath. These settees also make into a second double bed, bringing it up to its four berth status. And here we are in the kitchen along the near side, just behind the habitation door. It's got a fold up extension across, that does go across the doorway, admittedly. And then the cooker is a Thetford triplex with three gas burners and an electric hot plate, as well as a combined oven and grill. And then you've got this loose cover over the sink that also flips over and you can use that as a chopping board. 
storage includes a drawer with a loose cutlery tray in it. And then there's a couple of lockers down here as well. There's a large locker overhead. A microwave oven is an optional extra and that would go in here. So you would lose a lot of storage space. Ventilation here, a couple of main sockets to hand as well. And there's your Truma control panel. Completing the kitchen across the, across the corridor here, it's a Thetford compressor fridge. Good size, 137 litre total capacity. It's got a freezer box as well and a couple of shelves and then a good bottle store in the bottom. It's a compressor fridge, so it runs on 12 volt as well as 230 volt. A good feature of this Bailey Allura is the washroom door, would you believe? And that's because it's a full height timbre door in the open position. It just means you've got extra corridor space here, especially when you're working at the kitchen or wanting to get past. Step inside and you've got a swivel bowl toilet and a rather small fixed hand basin. And that sits on a bulkhead that slides forward for when you want to use this room for showering. There's still a shower curtain. The shower itself is the tap that extends up, clips onto the ceiling. There's not quite enough room for a riser bar, unfortunately. And there's not a lot of room for storage in here either. You do have a couple of shelves behind the mirror, and there is a little bit of open shelving, four good hooks, and there's a very useful hanging rail that drops down for your wet clothing. So a compact washroom, got all the facilities, and just about works. So lots of good details throughout this bailey. The main control panel is over the door where there's also a smoke alarm and a carbon monoxide alarm. Light switches are there and there. Back here, you've got the Truma panel. Don't forget it's got iNet, so you can operate it all remotely via your smartphone. Reading lights uh, are dotted around the two over the cab. They both have USB portals, as do the two reading lights over the bed. Carpet underfoot, a waste bin in the door where there's also a little pocket, plus a holder for your umbrella. And in the lounge, there's a flat screen TV holder with appropriate sockets nearby. There are also sockets for putting your TV up at the foot of the bed. Now, one of the key features of this Bailey is this garage at the back, which is great for bikes. It's got lashing points. It's got a light. It's got a main socket and a 12 volt socket. And it's got some good storage hatches and shelves along this side, including the gas locker. What I'm not so happy about though, is this is where these um, cushions for the travel seats go and the table stores in here and the bedboard store in here. So you're going to be have, to have to be a bit careful about what else you put in here because you're going to want access to some of this at least. So that's the Allura 694S from Bailey. 6.99 meters long, four berth, Probably better off as a two, but it's great to have that flexibility of the two extra travel seats. Hovering around the £75,000 mark makes it something of a bargain, and it's a great vehicle to drive as well. <laughs>